Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good and I hope you guys are well. Obviously right now you're probably thinking, why is your face already half done? Where are we start where are we starting to finish dinner? Well, basically today I just wanted to do a dive straight into what I want to talk about today. And as you can see from the title, I am going to be reviewing the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. And I purchased this from the Morphe UK website. So some of you may not know, but Morphe actually has a UK website. And they also have a UK store coming to Westfield Stratford in, I believe, either October or early January. I'm not too sure, I can't really remember. But I purchased the whole vault collection. Comes with four different sets of eyeshadows. So this is the Armed and Dangerous palette. They all come with a little mirror. And this has um, four shimmer shades. One, two, three, four, five, six matte shades. And I'm really, really gravitating towards this because of this green specifically. I really, really like that. And I wanna see how that will look on the lid bling boss eyeshadow and this one is more purples um these are really, really pretty i really like this whole set here i think it looks really nice especially this color here i want to try that one out and see dark magic one and this one is more like like I believe it's like emeraldy kind of jewel tones, like these kind of blues as well here. This is really, really pretty. I'm really, really gravitating towards these three mattes here. I think these are stunning. Yeah, and then the last palette, which is kind of like the everyday, I'm pretty sure everyone who does makeup has a palette similar to this. This is the um, Ring the Alarm palette, and it's got the standard warm tones that literally everyone and their mum loves. No, if you've seen on YouTube that a lot there was a bit of like um not controversy or anything but like morphe decided to re like stall on the release of these eyeshadows due to the fact that there were quite a few reviews that um the quality was not the best and one thing i must say is that's an amazing thing for a brand to do to literally like just say you know what we'll stall the launch forget it we'll bring it out once it's much better and i really do appreciate that as well as this, I will also be trying out the Morphe X Bretman Rock Babes in or well, Babe in Paradise, and I got this from Beauty Bay when they were doing their Morphe their sale. This is what the packaging looks like. It is inspired by Bretman's home, which is in Hawaii, which is a U.S. state. Some people don't know that, but yeah, it's a U.S. state. And these shadows, shadows, and these shades are so, so beautiful. Like, I'm just gonna swatch, let's just swatch this one here, which is cute. I don't know if that's how you say it properly, but it's very buttery. Oh, that's a beautiful shade, that's beautiful. Yeah, so to prime my lids, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade 12.5. I'm just gonna use this all over my eyes and then take a translucent setting powder to set the eye base. Cute voiceover. <laughs> so yeah guys, I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade 12 and setting it with my RCMA powder. I love this concealer for an eyeshadow base. And to start, I'm going in with the shade, I think this is the shade, what shade is this? Secure. Um, I'm taking this with a like a fluffy brush and I'm just building up the color and one thing I found with these shadows is you do have to work a little bit more than with the other Jaclyn Hill palette that's in my opinion but it still did have quite good payoff and I'm going in with a Morphe blending brush now to try to soften up the edges to kind of create a bit more of a, a softer look and then now I'm going in with the shade Top Secret which is just like moss green color that I really really like was attracted to in this palette which is why I used this palette for this tutorial but one thing I found with the more darker shades is that they're a little bit patchy so again that's something to keep in mind and I know they said they improved in formula and stuff like that but you're gonna see now as you can see one eye has a bit more of a patchy area at the top so I had to go in with a blending brush again just to kind of like diffuse that using um, secret again i think it's secret i can't remember what the shades are but you know guys like i tried i tried i tried doing something different with this look because i really wanted to kind of like go out of my comfort zone but i did like how it turned out and so now what i'm going to go do is i'm cutting my crease with a bit of leftover concealer and i'm just doing about 
halfway maybe two thirds of the way of my eye and I'm just patting this on not trying to sweep off any product or anything like that and then um, what I decided to do was to put on two shimmers because I started off with this one here which is in the shade Gil Trip and then I went in with the shade Coin which you'll see after because I felt like Gil Trip didn't give me the payoff that I wanted so you'll see how it builds now and it's quite subtle but I kind of wanted to go for a bit more of a deeper kind of like golden look for my eye and again but one thing I must say is the shimmers in these palettes are really really beautiful like I really really enjoyed them and I don't know if some are foiled or not but as you can see with this eye it's going to be cut quite quickly but you can see it's more of that gold that I was looking for and now I'm just popping on some lashes um, I will link everything in the down bar below and yeah back to me talking see you later guys <laughs> Okay guys, so we're back now and we're looking like a little bit more put together and I'm sorry again We've been moved, but I think this is gonna be my new filming spot in general Like because obviously you guys can see I have this mirror thing Yeah, I have this mirror thing here and because I have my ring light it reflects and you can see me and Everything else is going on in the background. And it's, it's not cute girl. It's not cute Okay, so now we're gonna go into highlighter and like I said, we're going to be using the Morphe X Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise palette. And these shades, literally, like, I feel like there's literally one for everyone of every single skin tone. I'm really gravitating towards these four here. Like, these these two and then these two. And obviously that one would be great for my skin as well. But um, I want to try a different stuff. I don't want to just go for the one that is safest. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to swatch these and then I'm going to show you guys... So those are the shades swatched and I'm excited to play. So obviously this comes with a fan and I don't normally use these kind of fan brushes but for the purpose of this video, because we're trying to use all the products, I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna mix, cause you know, we're gonna go in with Shady Bitch first and I think I'm gonna top it up with Get Lead. Get Lead, Get Lead. That is really pretty, but she is a little too bright. Just tone her down a little bit. This highlight. Oh, catch it. Oh, what? Who are you? My friends were Who are you talking to? Because it's definitely not me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Batman. You did the thing, sis. 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 So now I'm gonna get in with a bit of get lead. Ooh, okay. Oh, she hit. You know when it's like it got that little, like, extra. Yes. Ooh. Ah. Robotics is trying to get this to do the most. Yes. Carve out the face. Yes. Bring a bit more life to the contour. Thing. last but not least that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the lips and I am taking the Morphe lip liner in the shade trendsetter and it's this gorgeous gorgeous like deep rich brown it's deeper than chestnut because I feel like chestnut on my skin can get a bit washed out like it can look like my skin tone I need something that's just a little bit more brown than chestnut Okay, and so that is the finished look. So I am really happy with my eye look today. Like it's very different. 
If you know me, I very rarely do anything that's not like a burnt orange red. Sometimes purple on my eye and I'm really enjoying venturing into colour like girl I am so ready if you want to be in with a chance of winning this palette right here not this specific one because that's nasty girl I have a second palette ready to give away to someone who is a subscriber and someone who enjoys watching my content is there supportive and I just want to say thank you so so much to all of you guys for sticking around this giveaway is open to everyone all my subscribers international included so if you are wanting to get your hands on this palette but are oh, kind of like mm, I don't know you might be in the chance of winning and I will be selecting the winner via random generator so if you want to be in with a double chance of winning go to my Instagram and check the post I'm going to put out there be sure to follow me on my socials and subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell too guys when I post because I will be doing another giveaway in another video so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time bye guys